Hi, it's Kim from Affordably Crafty, and today I have new, new, new Clarence Markdowns to share with you in a shop with me at Michael's. Welcome. If you're new here, my channel is all about teaching you how to stretch your craft dollar and be affordably crafty. So, as I've said before, there are more and more yarns getting the limited time release little blue circle on them. And the four Karen cakes that came out, oh geez, when was that now? in uh, the last release for the summer yarns is going on clearance. So this is 491 yards, 100% cotton. This is the Karen cotton cakes. I'm sorry, cotton ripple cakes. It is a three weight. And this actually was my favorite of the four. I will post in the description box down below my initial walkthrough of these new yarns and my thoughts on them. The yellow one right there and this autumn one are actually were my two favorite colors of this. And a blue one, but they did not have any more of that. So this was originally $9.99 and now it's marked down to $5.99. Definitely have noticed the trend at Michaels where they start marking them down like $6 on sale and then shortly after that it's clearance time. So, of course, this is exciting to me because what does that mean? It means new yarn is coming. So excited. I can't wait to see what gems they're going to put out for the colder weather. Uh, ooh. These blues are really pretty. I do like the texture on this yarn. You'll have to let me know down in the description box which yarn you are most sad to see go bye byes We haven't gotten to the one for me yet. But they still had a pretty good stock of this ripple cake. Some of the other stuff was pretty much picked over. And these only went on clearance yesterday as of 5-23-2021. This is the Baby Cakes yarn. Again, $5.99 each. This is uh, 560 yards, 82 acrylic, 20-something uh, nylon. And it's in the color petals. And again, see limited time only, the blue circle. And normally it was $9.99 on clearance for $5.99. This is actually a mustardy type color. It's really not showing true to color, I don't know why. Mmm, pink, yay. Let me just put this back. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Blurple it up. Your inspiration's lavender, I agree. Now, they still did have a bunch of these patterns that were sitting in front of them. Don't forget to grab your free patterns. Even if they don't have this specific yarn anymore, you can always just sub it. There is a great website for that as a resource called yarnsub.com. Y-A-R-N-S-U-B.com. It's really particularly wonderful for somebody like me that likes to use yarn from the thrift shops. Karen Cotton Cakes Yarn. $5.99. There was really not a lot of those left. This be empty, yo. I guess these were the most popular. <laughs> at least at this Michaels. I am lucky. I have one, two, three, four Michaels within a half an hour drive of me. Craftopia, right? Cotton Angel Cakes. This had kind of like a slow variegation. Thing going on. Nope, that's cotton cakes. These were all mixed up. Mm hmm. Wonderful. Soft summer stripes. Mm. How about this one? I need an angel cake, please. Sunflowers? That's definitely an angel cake. Pepper? Hold the phone. I just noticed these were mixed up. Ah, that's a cotton cake. Read the label, Kim. This is 530 yards, 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. A4 weight. Hmm. Do love me a gray neutral. Hmm. What else is going on down here? This Michaels is usually pretty well sorted. <laughs> but yeah. Gray, I love me some gray. 
I was actually surprised to find this on clearance so early. Hello, here's another four-way or two-way full of clearance. Oh, I'm sad about this. As you see by my opening picture, this is the one I'm going to miss the most. All flex. I hardly, hardly fleckin' knew ya. I really hope they bring this one back. Acrylic and polyester, 590 yards of A4 weight. Deep pink. So fleckin' pretty. Oh my goodness. I do really love fleck yarn, though. Although I do kind of wish they hadn't put the nasty pink on top of this beautiful purple. <laughs> More purple. Ooh, naked. Ha! Ah, naked skein. Oh, found your label. I do put that back on after, just so you know. I wouldn't leave a naked skein there. That's pretty with the blurples. Light gray. That's a nice neutral, too. Looks like it has the same color flex as the one I just picked up. Ivory. Very nice. I'm going to miss you, flex. As you can see, that was mainly picked over because it was very popular. Bernat Baby Blanket in limited edition colors. So there was this one. Again, limited time only, the blue dot. I also do like how Michaels has the stitch sample on some of these. Makes me feel good about uh, seeing what it actually works up like. So that's 220 yards in the color confetti, which is this color. Pretty. Coral, aqua, and yellow with a cream. Ugh. Sorry, pink. I gotta assume they at some point had a blue in this colorway too, but I, there wasn't any here. Not the biggest fan of blanket yarn in general. Not my least favorite, but down there kind of on the bottom of the list. Oh, gray. It's a nice neutral. Gray chill. And then what's down here? Oh, it's the same one as the other one. Limited color selection on that one. Now we're going to go around. Okay, there's a lot of this left. Bernat Bundle Up Yarn. $5.99. Originally $9.99. This is another kind of baby yarn, but you don't have to use it just for baby stuff. Let's see the specs on this. Oh, it's tested against harmful substances. That's good. And the color marshmallow. Where are the specs? Hello. Oh, I do love that you put a free pattern on my label. 478 yards, 100% polyester, and it's a four weight. Seems kind of like a thin four weight to me though. Personal opinion. Oh, this is yellow but like a nice yellow, like a vivid yellow. Duckling. Hmm. Oh, I like that green color. The green in that marshmallow would make something nice, nice top. That's not the right yarn. The pretty slate gray. Blue Dawn. They actually had three different colors of blue in this. I wonder if it's because of Hat Not Hate that blue yarn just sells well for them. That's pretty. Beluga. Whale. What else we got? What is over here? Purple. What do we got here? So there wasn't a whole lot of this baby... I'm sorry, what was that called again? Burnett Bundle Up? And there was a gray. And I think there was one other purple, if I remember correctly. That is Misty Gray. What else have we got? I was super shocked that I walked in. And I did not come here intending to film clearance because I had not seen any videos about it yet. And I was like, bam, clearance. Oh, doing my yarn happy dance. There was so many yarns on clearance that it was hard for me to fit them all in my cart to do my bye-bye yarn uh, short. <laughs> I'll be putting that out in a couple days. Oh, it's Bernat Sheepy, and I totally missed the specs on it. Big, huge, fuzzy yarn. Cottontail. Good name. Hmm. What's this one? Vapor Gray. And the award for best name by Bernat is Cottontail. Plush Pink. Okay. Was rainbow baby yarn not popular? Because this end cap was a chocked full. Like, did they sell any? 
503 yards. It's a four weight, light yellow. I mean, like, literally, like, it's all still here, practically. Uh, light pink. White. Did anybody buy this baby rainbow yarn? Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it if you did. I'm trying to figure out why there's so much of this left. Maybe because it's $9.99 and you can get Karen cakes for the same price. And they're variegated and textured. Just a thought. Mm, nice. Okay, this one, next one was actually my favorite color, which I'm surprised because I'm not usually drawn to this color lime, but I really liked it. Well, it's the color limelight. I was close. Hmm. What else have we got? Ooh. This may seem a little bit faster than my, than my normal shop with me is, but I did not slow the video down. This is me at real pace in the store. <laughs> Because mommy's got to hurry up and pick up the kids from school. Mm. Ooh, gray. Okay, more yarns to come here. What do we got next? I'm going to back up here in a second. I pick up all those skeins. Look at how many of those are left. It's like it's full. The baby rainbow section. Okay, round in the corner. Oop. Eco Brights. Originally $7.99, now $3.99. There was quite a bit of this left, too. This is the recycled polyester yarn. 255 yards, made from recycled plastic. It's a five-weight. I'd say it's a thin five-weight, personally. In the color light pink. In the color bright pink. Mm, red, and this is a true red. Like, this is a bam, red. It's getting a little blown out of my camera. And there goes that sign. Every time I move one of those signs, I knock it down. Peach. Don't worry, I put them all back up after. Yellow. Very nice Kelly green. Well, a little bit springier. That's a nice green. And cobalt blue. I got to say that, that Kelly green color was my favorite of this one. Three different colors of pink for you pink fans out there. Magenta. Mm, what's this one? Oh, how I hate the donut. Let me list the reasons. My least favorite yarn shape. I'd rather have a hank that I have to put into a skein. Ugh. Quite a lot of those left, too. Then we have the creme cotton yarn. $4.99, originally $7.99, by Loops and Threads. 324 yards. And doo, it's a four weight. This is actually super soft. I will also link the videos down below of the Creme Cotton and the Eco Brights, just to give you a little bit more information on my thoughts on it. Fiery Flamingo. Rose Sands. Also, I did double check the clearance for my last video, which I will also link down below. And it has not gone to a further markdown yet. That was the main reason I went in here, because I want to get some of that Waterford yarn and the purple and the gray and put them together into something. But it still is at five bucks. I want there to be at least another markdown before I get it. But that's just me. But hey, happy clearance dance. Let's see what else we got. Pale Orchid. Now, this is was way fuller originally, obviously, so this was pretty popular. I hope they bring this one back. It's pretty soft. Although, I really wish it came in variegated or ombre or something else besides solids. Hmm, we'll see. Okay, and these Amigurumi kits by Jonah's Hands uh, that like, felt like they came out very recently are now on clearance. Uh, a lion, a bear. There was no tiger, though. A sloth, and uh, is that it? And a sheep. Oh, my. 
So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you're most sad about saying bye-bye to. For me, it's the flex yarn because it's flecking amazing. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait to uh, see and touch all the new yarns they're going to bring in soon, hopefully. Because I do love showing you guys and feeling the new yarn. Thanks for hanging out with me. Please like, share, and subscribe so your friends can be affordably crafty too. Also, follow me on Instagram and join my Facebook group where I post about all my steals, deals, and freebies I find in my travels in the crafting world. Also, check me out on Saturday on Affordably Geeky Live with Ginger the Yarn Geek from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every Saturday. And I hope you all have a very creative day. Bye-bye.